Hello, my name is Anthony Barocas of IEP Communications, and this video is to show you a new development with regards to B4 lenses. What you're seeing here is not a 14 millimeter lens or the 14 to 140 on the GH4 and 4K. We have something completely different. Let's switch to the 14 millimeter on the GH4. This is the 14 millimeter lens on the GH4 in 4K in the exact same placement as the other lens. No, what we have here right now is a half inch 4.4 millimeter lens at f2 on the GH4 in 4K. And you can see by these corners, down here and up here, there's no vignetting. So this is the lens. This is the Canon PH8 by 4.4 B. So this is a B4 lens, but it's a half inch mount, so it needs a smaller B4 adapter. Still has the doubler, and with the doubler in, this is a full 2X doubler. I'm at F2. 4.4 millimeters wide and that's the view that we get. It's considerably wider than a 14 millimeter lens. Par focal, low aperture, servo zoom. You can use half inch lenses on your GH4 in 4K. And I'm using UHD, not the wider DCI. I think it might vignette a little bit in DCI. We'll try that. And But the UHD works. And this it's the exact same exposure. Actually, I'm at a uh, shutter of 1300 because I wanted to keep the f-stop low so you can see low f-stop or uh, wide open aperture clarity of the B4 lens. This is a pretty wide lens, I have to say. We're gonna do some lens tests now. I'll be behind the camera doing some panning and some zooming and see how this lens really looks. I have the motor attached so I can zoom in. I can focus on the bricks. I can focus on the fence, somewhere around there. I can zoom back out. There are a lot of things in focus. Uh, I think what we're going to do is, you can see watching the corners, pretty much to the whole zoom range, it's clean on the corners. This, like I said, this is a, a UHD, this is not DCI, there's a little bit vignetting right here I see in the viewfinder and a little darkening up here in the corner. Let's see if I change focus. This is close focus. This is far focus. Far focus, it seems to creep in just a little bit more than close focus. And stop down the aperture and we'll roll down that shutter. So now let's do an F8. All right, so right there, we lost the clipping in the clouds. We're at F8. Uh, we're gonna focus at 30 feet. So I can see some highlighting in the fence. I should be able to get both the fence and the wall in focus. And then pulling back out. I can pull back out slowly. A couple things you're not going to get with a still lens is you're not going to get the smooth focus. You're not going to get a nice motorized focus that will keep that speed all the way through. A nice consistent speed. Uh, the lens is not going to change aperture while you're zooming it's not going to like suddenly adjust internally or the camera's not going to adjust internally and then lastly it's going to stay in focus so these are three real advantages to parfocal eng b4 lenses when being used on digital slrs in particular my workhorse is the panasonic gh4 in 4k um, this is the dci mode c4k 24p mp4 uh, we're f4 4.4 millimeters, uh, you can see there is a little bit of vignetting, but that is actually, if I can unscrew it, that is actually the hood. It's not that bad in DCI mode, saying you don't actually need the edges. Um, or if you're going to do a cinema scope crop in the middle here, this is 4.4 millimeters. We're going to manually zoom out to 7.5. Open up the iris a little bit. And then out to 15. Here's 25. And here's 35. 
35 millimeters. I'm just focusing using the LCD screen outdoors. And you can see that once you zoom in a little bit, at least past 7.5 millimeters, the corner vignetting is not visible. When you go all the way, right there, that last little bit, here's 4.4. I mean, that might be like 5 millimeters right there. It just zoop, zoop, goes out, goes away. So that makes it pretty darn usable to me, even in DCI mode, which surprises me. Here is the view. Let me increase the shutter. Here is the view uh, without the doubler. And you can see when I zoom, those corners, those corners fuzz out quite nicely. Here's 4.4, and that's 35. So 4.4, and here's what happens. You can see right there, that hard edge comes in right at the very end, and it just going up to like, I don't know, 5.5 millimeters, pushes that corner out and gives you the ability to even use DCI in a pinch if you needed to, just as long as you push that a little bit. <clears throat> and then DCI, this is the shot you get, especially once you open the iris again. So here at F4, it's looking pretty good in DCI, which surprises me. I thought it would crop more in DCI than it does. So let's go back to UHD and see how that looks. And here we are back in UHD mode on the GH4. Uh, when we go open all the way, that's below 1.4. We're gonna adjust the shutter to compensate. Uh, in having edited the, starting to edit the footage already, I can tell you that it is a little softer on the edges, definitely. A little softer on the edges. Maybe somebody can make a better doubler, a replacement doubler optic to drop into these lenses that is really super tack sharp all the way across. Make a lot of money doing that. Um, when you close down, let's go to F4 and then open up the iris to compensate right there. Uh, the edges sharpen up. I can now see focus peaking uh, all the way out to here. So it does sharpen up the edges at F4. <clears throat> Let's go to 2.8. A little less, you know, and, and obviously we've seen the other way. You go to F8 and open to compensate, there we go. And that's really sharp. So the sharpness is there if you close down the iris, which you'll need to do outside anyway, unless you've got it uh, one, two, three, four, five, at least five stops of ND, as well as an IR cut, or use the shutter. And lastly, here is a test comparing this lens to the Nikon 5.5 that I had as a two-thirds inch lens. We're gonna couple it in over here. Again, we're in UHD, and it extends halfway across the bed over here. So we're gonna compare that in footage to the 5.5 millimeter two-thirds inch lens. This is a 4.5, mile away out? I am now. 4.5 half inch lens in UHD. So this is great news for 4K shooters using the GH4 with the crop mode. Half inch lenses seem to work very well. This particular lens is great. Uh, not every lens has the exact same coverage with every doubler. So your mileage may vary. <laughs> um, this could be dark skies for those people who want to sell us very expensive lenses, but now there's a whole new market of lenses, lens opportunities open. Things are looking very good for GH4 owners who want to shoot in 4K.